Hi there, this is Kelly Miller. Thanks so much for your question around getting a 19 month old to um, not engage in challenging behaviors when being told to do something they don't want to do. This is certainly a challenging age as when we are around 19 months old, we're really looking for places to be independent. And so there's this constant battle between wanting to do things by themselves, yet also not being able to do most things yet by themselves. So they're really exploring this, am I okay? Is it okay if I do this? Is it I okay if I do that? And how can you support me in figuring out, is it okay for me to do this? Is it okay for me to make mistakes? Um, and still still be loved still figure out how to do things a different way so that's kind of the the first overall piece um to just kind of let let sink in a little bit but ultimately when we are asking a toddler to do something it can be really helpful to give warnings this gives them a little bit more sense of independence and feeling like they're in control so for example, if you're saying we have it's time to go, you know, wash your hands before we eat lunch. And no, and then there's crying, screaming, pulling hair, wanting to bite, um, something of that nature. It could be really helpful to just tell them in five more minutes we're going to wash our hands and then go eat. And then um, do maybe four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minutes to give them that time and preparation for that change and that transition to come. This can sometimes help bring down the overwhelm um, and reduce some of those behaviors. The other thing that can be helpful is to really connect with their emotion before trying to redirect. So this comes from some of Dan Siegel's work um, where we um, first name and then redirect the be the name the emotion and then redirect the behavior. So, for example, it could be like, "I know you're really mad that you can't, you know, pull the dog's tail. I know that that makes you mad." I said, "No, I can see how mad you are." and here's something else that you could pull or throw or or bite on because it sounds like um, our particular question that you're doing really a lot to offer different um, chewies and things for them to pull on so there may just be that piece of really honoring the feeling first before offering the redirection the last thing that i will um you know, kind of say is that there's this really wonderful book actually by Dan Siegel, the author that I mentioned. Um, and here it is. It's called Parenting from the Inside Out. And this is a really helpful tool, especially as we're raising young toddlers. It gets us curious to reflect back on our own self um, and what we can, what we can do um, to really understand our child's behavior in some in some different um, ways through looking at our at our own behaviors and actions, and I find this to be really helpful, especially for working with the um, or for making life easier with infants and and young toddlers. I hope this has been helpful and given you a couple of ideas. Please reach back out if you um, have more specific questions or want to schedule a consultation. Thanks.